Hello my lovely nesties, I am Princey and welcome back to my channel Angst Cat. Very hope you all are comfortable out here. So before moving on to today's video, I would like to say that if you have not taken part in the 1000 subscriber giveaway, it is still open. It is open till 8th of March 2017. So do hit that i button after watching this video. Then only you hit that i button to know the rules and regulations of the giveaway and just follow the rules and participate in the giveaway. I am I am keeping a note of everything so just follow the rules and participate in the giveaway and moreover I also want to convey a message through this video that I am now available in a whatsapp med, uh, whatsapp number I am sharing my whatsapp number with my nested so that we can stay more connected with one another so if you are interested in talking to me via whatsapp then do share, keep a mail in my mail id the mail id is given down in the description box and then i would just share my number with you and just you can stay connected with me through whatsapp so make two notes that one you have to after watching this video do take part in the giveaway and second one that if you want my number then of course you can leave a mail in my personal mail id that i have given in the description box and now moving on to today's video so today's video is one of the steps of a good skincare regimen. A good skincare regimen involves cleansing your face daily and moisturizing it daily. So I have already done two videos on it. One is CTM routine and other is CETM routine. I will be keeping the link in the description box for your help. So if you want to go and watch it then you can just watch it. So amongst this CETM routine, one of the step is E. That is E stands for exfoliating our skin. So exfoliating helps in removing the dead skin cells and blackheads and whiteheads of our skin. So it helps us in uh, with uh, giving us a uh, space for growing new cells in our skin. So whenever these new cells uh, are just cover up the surface of our skin, then our skin looks more healthier and feels more healthier and beautiful. And you will be having a radiant and natural glow on your skin so moving on to two of the scrub recipes that I have to discuss with you today so if you are interested in knowing that the scrub recipes then keep do keep on watching so before moving on to the recipe I would uh, add one more point here that uh, you might be thinking that why cleansing is not enough for our skin so I want to answer this question here itself cleansing is not enough for the skin because cleansing helps in removing the dirt and bacteria from the skin but it doesn't help in removing the blackheads have uh, whiteheads and the dead skin cells so one more thing I want to say that the outer layer is most exposed and go through a lot of abuse. So scrubbing is one of the things that helps in clearing of the blackheads, white cells and the dead skin cells of our skin. Just giving us a radiant new skin for us. The facial scrub helps in removing the blackheads, whiteheads and the dead skins and just give new skin to the surface. And this new skin is more healthier and brighter. So it makes your face look more bright and radiant and healthy. So now moving on to the recipe before before moving on to this uh, DIY recipe I will be taking our you through the ingredient list then we will be moving on to the recipe today we will be making two scrub you can use this scrub for your body face and of course for your feet too so to make our first scrub we will be taking one tablespoon of aloe vera gel aloe vera gel itself is a miracle plant it has a huge range of skin health and hair benefits it treats sunburn acne acts as a moisturizer it also helps in anti-aging treatment so i am taking this patanjali aloe vera gel today if you have an aloe vera plant you can also use fresh aloe vera gel you can extract the fresh aloe vera gel from an uh, aloe vera plant so uh, since i don't have an aloe vera plant in my rent house here so i am taking this patanjali aloe vera gel along with one tablespoon of aloe vera gel i will be also adding one tablespoon of olive oil olive oil i am using this uh, jack olive oil which is easily available in the market you can uh, use any other brand of olive oil also so i will be adding this one tablespoon of jack olive oil olive oil is packed with anti-aging antioxidant and hydrating swelling making it superb for hair skin and nails it contains three major antioxidants that is vitamin e polyphenols and phylosterols. Vitamin E partly accounts for anti-aging benefits of olive oil because it helps restore skin smoothness and protect against the harmful UV light of the sun. 
as per not the least, I have taken this uh, instant oat milk. I have just taken the regular oat milk, quicker oat milk, and, and just crush it in a mixer grinder like so in order to make it uh, powder like so. But it is the so you can see the consistency. It is still, still granular in nature, which helps in scrubbing our dead skin cell. So oat milk is suitable for all skin types and even for the most sensitive skin because of its anti-inflammatory properties it is clean and clear skin removes dead skin cells treats acne and tackles oily skin it is the natural exfoliant so this makes the scrub more effective on our skin so i have taken a clean bowl like so focus camera focus yeah so i have taken a clean bowl like so now to this I will be taking 1 tablespoon of olive oil. So here I have taken 1 tablespoon of olive oil. To this I will be taking 1 tablespoon of Patanjali aloe vera gel. This much is enough. And to this I will be adding One tablespoon of oat milk, meal. Sorry. Now I will give it a good mix. So after mixing everything well, our first scrub is ready. Now moving on to the next scrub. So for preparing our next scrub, we will be taking Patanjali aloe vera gel as it is the base of our scrub. So I have already discussed the valuable qualities of this aloe vera gel in this video area. So next, uh, moving on to our next ingredient. We will be needing 1 tablespoon of sugar. Sugar is a natural exfoliator and a natural source of glycolic acid which evens out the skin tone, cleans pores and improves all over skin texture by removing dead and dull skin cells so it is a natural exfoliator and you will be we will be using one tablespoon of this sugar in our scrub last but not the least we will be taking one tablespoon of this lemon juice lemon juice has a skin brightening properties which helps in fading away scars of our acne or pimples and it also helps in removing the suntan area, suntan in the suntan areas. So it is also rich in vitamin C as we all know. It is very good for skin but we shouldn't use lemon regularly once or twice in a week as good. But regularly we shouldn't use lemon on our skin. So now moving on to making this uh, um, scrub. So in order to prepare this scrub, I am using one tablespoon of uh, sugar. So I am taking I am taking this in a clean bowl like so. To this, I will be adding one tablespoon of Patanjali aloe vera gel. You can also use face. Uh, you can also use um, fresh aloe vera gel. So I have added 1 tablespoon of aloe vera gel. So now to this I will be mixing 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. I will squeeze out the lemon. So I have added 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. Now I would mix everything well. So our second scrub is also ready. Now moving on to it application. So first of all, I am taking this oatmeal, aloe vera gel, and olive oil uh, fa facial scrub. You can apply this scrub on your face, feet, and of course your body too. So I am taking this. I will take a small amount of it like in my fingertips and then just scrub it on my face like so.
I will be applying it upward in upward circular motion. Make sure to apply it in upward circular circular motion by pushing your skin towards upwards direction because we want to act our skin against the gravity and hence we don't want sagging in our skin. I usually do this in the bathroom because it is somewhat messy because the chunks of the oatmeal just fall onto your dress or so but for this video I am doing here to make but you make sure that you do it in your bathroom regularly so you just notice the movements I am making with my hands I am just pushing my skin upwards in upward direction in my nose area I am taking this three fingers and just massaging it like this and in my eye area I am pushing this with my fingers to the outer corner to the temples of my head in the upper portion I am putting, pinching this out here I just love this massage massaging your skin for regular 5 to 10 minutes just increases the blood flow into your skin and just helps in the blood circulation and hence your skin looks radiant always I used to uh, for scrubbing I only scrub my face only on weekdays that is once in a week I scrub my face but other than I used to massage my skin regularly with cleansing milk oh I forgot to mention one thing that I have already washed my face with my uh, homemade face wash. I will be sharing the link above. So after cleansing your face with any face wash, or if you want to know the recipe of the homemade face wash, you can just click on the i button above. So after cleansing your face with your favorite face wash, only you have to apply the scrub because before scrubbing our dead skin cells, we will be just us removing the dirt and bacteria from our skin then we will be working on on our exfoliation so here I will be applying this motion for cleaning my chin area and upper lip area Make sure to massage it in upward circular motions because we don't want our skin to sag down so we have to work against the gravity. So massage it for next 2 to 3 minutes and that's it. So I have massaged it for 2 to 3 minutes. Now I am done. So I will leave it like this because the olive oil will be moisturizing my skin so it's uh, don't you don't have to worry about it but uh, if you have an oily skin this chunk went into my mouth so if you have an oily skin then make sure to wash it as soon as possible my skin is combination to dry so i will be now combination to dry so i will be just skipping it for just five minutes and then i will be washing it because the olive oil will be moisturizing my skin till then and now moving on to the next uh, scrub i will be just showing you how to apply it now i will apply the next scrub onto my hands to just give a demonstration you can apply that scrub onto your face also so there are no worries because there i am using very mild things so this is the sugar aloe vera and the aloe vera gel and the lemon juice scrub so i will be taking it is very liquid i told you earlier that we should do this in, in the bathroom only but i am creating a great mess out here so i will be taking this scrub like so and just scrubbing the dead skin cells on my head It is very good scrub. I have used it and I am just in love with both the scrubs. Aloe vera gel is very good for our skin. It is a natural healer. I am using Patanjali aloe vera gel. You can use aloe vera gel of your favorite brand or you can also use fresh aloe vera gel. The sugar crystals just scrub off the dread skin cells from my 
skin but it is a messy thing you should do it in the bathroom only so that's it for the demo you can also apply it on your elbows in order to scrub the dead skin cells out here so the scrub recipe I have shared here is all for your face body and always you can use this as a food scrubber also so just uh, now I will be washing this my face and this area out here and just coming back soon so I have washed my face and now I will pet my skin dry with this clean towel So you can just see how my skin looks like because now I feel it very soft and refreshing. The olive oil has already moisturized my skin but make sure after using scrub you just use a good toner to tone your skin. All you have to do while using a toner is dab a small amount of a toner, toner on a cotton ball and just apply it to your skin, let it dry into your skin and then follow it with a good moisturizer. So now I would keep my skin like this because I have used that olive oil scrub on my face and olive oil is good moisturizing agent for your skin. It contains vitamin E and just it makes me feel moisturized. So I will be just keeping my skin like so. So do try this recipe out at home and I know that you will love it but I want to make a note here that this is not the glow that I am getting instantly. I have used this face pack and just I am getting instant glow in my skin. This is not true. I strictly follow my skincare regimen. I wash my face twice a day. I used to moisturize, tone my face. I used to moisturize my face. I drink a lot of water and I used to take good care of my skin. And this is the reason why hey, this uh, glowy skin you can see in my videos. And I get lots and lots of compliments from this. And thank you for all this compliment. So follow all your CTM routine strictly and CETM routine strictly. I have already done a video on it. Just go to that video and just check it out. What are the process and how we can take care of our skin. You can also go for my morning skincare regimen. You can also go to go for my nighttime skincare regimen. I have already done that videos on it. So I will be linking that everything in the description box down below. And just you can if you want then you can go through it. Uh, see that video. So if you like this video then do hit that like button down below and do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Your subscription, your comments and your lovely 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 comments are things that make me going. So do commenting on my videos, do sharing your, do keep sharing your feedback and don't forget to take part in the giveaway. So till my next video, love you and take care. Bye.